Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everybody and welcome to this course, MemoQ Basic Operator Training. This is lesson two. If you haven't seen lesson one yet, then please go there. Each lesson depends on the lesson before. This is lesson two. And without lesson one, you will not be able to proceed to lesson two. Without lesson two, you will not be able to proceed to lesson three and so forth. <coughs> So the, let's have a review first of all about of left lesson one what we did what we did last time was to create a project folder in the computer and to create subfolders inside that uh, folder the second one was to create uh, to open memo queue and then to change the location of the files as we explained before you need to be an Arabic translator you can be a Translating in any other field for the examples that will follow will be both in English and Arabic. The program that we use is MemoQ 2015. You can download it from the official website. So this is lesson two. What we are going to do with lesson two is to create a memory and we will create a term base as well. So the first question that somebody will ask me now, what is a memory? What is a term base? And there will be another question, what is the purpose of the memory, how to benefit from them? For the time being, I would like to say we do not need to answer these questions. Just let us uh, follow the procedures to create a memory and term base, that's all. In lesson 3, we will explain more about memory and term base because we will be able at that time to start with the translation of a real-life project. So, uh, these are the... The, uh, this is the brief of lesson two. Let's get down to business. First of all, let's create a memory and then we will create a term base. In order to do so, I would like to ask you now to go to this place that I am pointing to. You can see it now in a red rectangle. And this is called the resources and when you click it, you will go several options including the memory and the term base as I said previously what you need to do was is just follow the instructions for the time being we will explain later on what we mean by term base and memory here we have uh, lots of options some of them are here gray and cannot be active unless you highlight a memory and here we have such other options like register local just uh, for the time being you need to understand that register local means that uh, when you have the memory from other computers or from other people if it is compliant with memo queue you can put it and you can say register local so that it will be imported into the translation memories of memo queue uh, anyway there are other options all of them are for the advanced users and not the basic operators. So basically we have the turn bases here and we have the translation memories here. Let us first of all create a new memory. To create a new memory, you click on create new. And by the way, a memory is obligatory all the time. You cannot have a project without a memory, but you can have a project without a term base. When we have clicked the create new, we're now moving to another window and here and here we need to enter the name of this memory. You have several options, several ways of entering the name. For example, you can say ABC Company English Arabic, <coughs> just as an example. And here, the user may think that, well, I can bring all my documents and work on them for a specific company, so I need its own memory in order not to confuse it with other customers. Since it's English Arabic, we use English United States, and you can say Arabic. It's up to you, you can use any local you want, but when you 
create a memory using a specific locale, you have to stick to it all the time. In other words, if you choose for the memory English, United States and Arabic here in this case, you cannot run a project for the translation of uh, a file with the language, for example, United uh, English, uh, United Kingdom, Arabic Algeria, for example. You cannot do that. So, several options here. You do not need them at all for the time being. They are all advanced. All of them are advanced, except this one, read-only. We will explain later on what we mean by read-only. Anyway, keep things as default. Do not change. Okay. Here now you have a memory. It's an empty memory. There's nothing inside it. We will create now a new memory to give you just another option how to name a memory. Here, for example, I receive English Arabic uh, translation projects from many people. Or maybe Arabic English, let's say for this example, Arabic English. I would like you now to go for, as we said here, create a new. Just click create a new. You will be prompted to another window. And here I would like you to name it as follows. The name that I have just given it uh, to, the, to, the, to this memory shows me that in this memory I will put all things related to accounting as a field. You can put, for example, let's say general Arabic English, general English Arabic, etc. It's up to you. You can choose the domain, mass media, legal. For example, you can put them, classify them in this way. But please understand that when you put the memory from Arabic into English, you cannot use it at all when you translate documents from English into Arabic and the vice versa. I will ask you now please to go to select language again it's Arabic and use the target language English state. So it's not enough to name to name it just as Arabic English you have to choose the source language and the target language and press OK. Here we have now two memories we have two memories here. Both of them are empty at this at, at the moment. Remember that for the advanced users, we'll explain in in future lessons how to bring the memories from other people so that you do not start from scratch. We go now to the turn base. Please click on the turn bases now. It's also empty. The same process. Create a new. Create a new. We'll call it, for example, ABC Company. And here you do not need to make it English Arabic or Arabic English because a term base can be used for both projects. Even if you translate from English into Arabic or Arabic into English, it doesn't matter. As long as the language is, is correct. Here I will put Arabic. Please tick Arabic here. If you tick Bahrain or Egypt or whatsoever, you will have a conflict between the project and the term base and you will not make any use of them. We go scroll down, English United States. You have other, as you see, you have other options. Several other options. This one is important, but we will talk about it later on, not now. A new term defaults is important. Read only is important, but we will talk about them when we go through the translation project, but not now. Click OK. Here you are. Now we have a term base. I will uh, create another, <coughs> another term base. And this time, by the way, you do not need to press this one. You have another way of doing so. Right click, as I do. You see all things here. All of those options are simply on the list. Right click anywhere inside the box. And here I will say accounting. I will put an accounting, for example, you can put anything you want. But here for this example, for our main examples here, please follow the process as we are doing it. And then OK. That's all. 
So you have now memories and you have now two memories and you have two term bases. Basically, we will use them in our project. Close. That's all for this lesson, lesson two. But before, it's very important, before we close, I will show you what happens now to the folder. You remember the folder that created at the very beginning and I told you that it stores everything. Look, this folder. You can simply take it, copy it, and paste it anywhere so that you can have a good backup of the project that you are making and you do not run the risk of losing anything. Double click. Now, let's see what we have in memories. You see them? They have been created now automatically by the program. <clears throat> and the same thing with the term base. Let's go to the term base. As you can see, they are now automatically created in the program. Now here is a question. If I want to delete any of them, how can I delete them? Now this is how to delete them. This is the warning that I have put precautions. Never delete anything from your computer folder. My memory never delete anything by yourself. In other words, do not press Dell or send to the recycle bin. Otherwise, the computer, the program will still be looking for the, the, the memory, for example, or something that you have uh, deleted and will not find it. It will give you an error message. Let's give it a try. We will go now to the my computer, to the same place that we were working on, and let's say, for example, that I want to to delete or rename the memories. Let's say that I want to delete it. Just delete it. If I delete it by sending it to the recycle bin, I delete it. But this is the wrong way. Now let's see how this reflects from memo queue. Now let's see what's happening. We go to the resource. Please, those steps, do not do them now. You see what happens now in the memory? There's this sign showing me that there's an error. In other words, if I click it, double click, it doesn't work. If I make properties, for example, register whatsoever, there is always an error message. When there is an error message with the memory, it's a big problem because the project will not work at all. So this is the wrong way. It is the wrong way of deleting the memory. Let us retrieve uh, the memory to its place. I have just uh, pressed Ctrl and Z. Now it's back to, the, to where it was. Let's check. It must work now. Now it's working, giving me all the functions. There is no error. There is a tick, a green one, which means everything is fine with me. But how do I delete the memory? How do I delete the term base? If you want to delete it, simply right click, delete, or highlight and delete from here. When you delete it, when you delete it, the program, the memory key will delete the memory. We do not want to delete anything at the time. And please, uh, during these last lessons, do not tamper with any other option. Do not go to the filter configuration, QA, uh, live docs, uh, settings, etc. Do not do anything. We will go through them one by one uh, in, the right, in the right time. So, we have created a term base, a memory, and we have warned you not to delete any of them from the computer, you can delete them from here. And uh, we will move now to the next lesson, which is about starting a real project in translation using the term base and memory. Bye-bye uh, for now, and uh, see you in the next lesson.